Yo, what's going on guys? It's Brian Old Gamer Forever here. Um, and this video is just going to be a short little video. Again, another like two minutes to bit of something happening in my Stellaris game. Uh, mostly for friends, but if you find it interesting, you can watch it. But uh, what we have here is a Colossus. Now, uh, for those of you, mainly Nick and uh, Daffy and those of interest in, in my friends in Stellari. Uh, Stellari, wow. Uh, Stellaris. Um, this is a planet killer. Now, don't take me to mine. Um, this is my kingdom right now. Um, I am actually a pacifist, funnily enough. Uh, so that means I can't blow up planets. Um, however, I do still get this planet killer weapon. Now, what is this equipped with? Uh, if you're a pacifist and you have a planet killer, you have the global pacifier. Now, this is a very deadly weapon um, that... Uh, we can hover over here. A shielding field is deployed around the planet, creating a barrier that is permanent and impenetrable, save for wavelengths of light. Basically, what's going to happen here is I'm going to blast this planet with an impenetrable shield, and it effectively just traps them in like a sanctuary. They can never get out, effectively killing their population. Now, it's about to happen here. It's at uh, charging 72%, and it does take a while to charge. So we're just going to unpause here. Um, let me continue that quest. And there we go. It's firing the weapon. It does take a second to fire as well. But, uh... Oh, this was Earth, by the way. Um, that was Soul 3. Part of the Soul system. It was Earth. I found the primitive Earth species. And, bam! As soon as they are shielded in, um, they cannot escape. They're stuck in there forever. And, uh, we get some research out of it. So we can One pass by this planet. Oh. Okay, cool. Um, apparently I got pirates in one of my systems. One point five. Yeah, we could take that. Um, but yeah, so that is what uh, that is the global pacifier planet killer. Um, it's a really cool weapon. As you see, it just closed down right there, and it like opens up fires on the planet. It's very cool. Very very cool weapon. Uh, we're gonna want to go there. Um, so using this as a pacifist, actually, interesting strategy. Um, using this as a pacifist, you can actually declare... You can, uh, you can take territory if you declare a war of imposed ideology. And then you go through all of their planets. And you basically just lock them in bubbles. Their empire will disintegrate. And their territory becomes free. And you can come through, walk in, take, you know, reclaim all of this stuff. Um... Now, another thing you may be noticing is uh, this empire has kind of collapsed. Um, that's my bad. So, what I've done here is uh, if you click through, you'll actually find a lot of different species. Uh, the reason for this is uh, I have this handy little artifact, uh, if we can get to our relics, called the Omnicodex. Now, it's passive effects, you know, plus one gene point, eh. Whatever, you know, just some gene points. However, you may be noticing the active effects are spawn population from extinct species on one of your planets. So what this does is you get three three pops of a random quote-unquote extinct species. So basically it'll spawn a species that uh, doesn't exist before on your planets. It didn't have to be in the galaxy before at all. It just spawns them in. And I... I'm an inward perfectionist, which means I hate aliens. I absolutely despise them. Um, I'm only focused on being left alone, being myself, uh, trying to stay out of wars. Hilariously enough, you can still declare war to impose your peaceful ideology. Hilarious. Um, but yeah, I'm also life-seeded, which means all my plans have to be Gaia or Eucropolis, plant, basically. Um, so, But I have terraforming for that. But the uh, point is, is... I instantly despise aliens, so if we go to our species tab and toggle our species, I just activated it, and we got some reptiles who are charismatic and they only can live on a Eucropolis habitability. Now, this doesn't really impact it because I'm pretty sure, yeah, they change species habitability, but, so uh, what we can do is if they can live on one of these planets, they are undesirables. Their rights are undesirable, and it's instead of purging, like doing one of these, you know, killing them off, I just have them set to displacement, which means that they spawn on our planets, we then immediately force them to leave our planets, and they go somewhere else in the galaxy that they can live. 
Now, that means this big empire that had half the galaxy at one point? Yeah, that uh, got all of my refugees. And because they just kept getting more and more of them, and they're different species, and they were, they're not, uh, I don't think, I think they were an xenophobe originally. I think these guys were the originals. Or maybe these guys. Yeah, it was these guys. Um, they, they were xenophobes. So, they getting that means that you have a crap ton of rebellions because they put them as slaves. So, they've kind of, you know, gone unfortunately and uh, gotten so many rebellions. You can cripple enemy empires. I don't have any. Th These guys are the worst I had to worry about. But, uh, yeah, they were a product of a war previously. So, their only planet left is here. The rest of their planets, like, this was their capital. Um, that's a station. This was their capital. Uh, unfortunately, it's now shielded. So, but they get some research out of it at least. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this little short video. Just kind of showing you the ways to abuse inward perfectionists and in the pacifist thing by once you're getting the planet killer, you can declare a war of ideology and just wipe out empires. Uh, anyway, guys, this was Gamer giving you a little. Uh, Giving you a little Stolaris advice. Anyway, see you guys all next time.